Hello, my name is Katie Seifert, and I live in Elma, New York, which is about 25 minutes away from Damon College near the South Towns. I'm 20 years old, and I live with both my mom and my dad and my brother and my dog. Some activities I enjoy are working out. I go to the Y down here in South Towns, and I'm on the Damon Club lacrosse team, and I go snowboarding at Holiday Valley. I went to Iroquois High School. And I'm going to give you a quick tour of my house. This is like a study area. You keep going. This is my upstairs going downstairs. Heading to the kitchen. This is my dad. Hi, I'm making dinner. This is my mom. Hi. This is my dog, Kitty. She's a Pomeranian. Her real name is Zoe, but I call her Kitty because she acts like a cat. And I also have a brother. This is my brother, Kyle. He's a freshman at UB. He's going for pre-med. He also went to Iroquois. I also have a boyfriend, and he goes to Canisius College for business, and he's on the Canisius baseball team, and he's a pitcher, and I work at Don Tequila's, which is a Mexican restaurant, and what attracted me to physical therapy? What attracted me was that my brother and my best friend always got injured, so they always ended up having to go to physical therapy, and I always observed their exercises, and I watched how it increased their ability and their strength, and I thought it was really interesting. And I'd like to be a physical therapist, because first off, I'd like the idea that it's not a desk job. I don't want to be sitting at a desk all day, and you're moving around with patients all the time. And I feel like I'll get a great deal back, like knowing that the patients are going to be fine and they are, they're always like welcoming and telling everybody how um, great they feel usually after they're done with physical therapy. And I like the job demand too, the job security. The physical therapy jobs are in need. And what are my learning style preferences? I'd have to say I'm a visual learner. I mean, especially after taking that test for PT, I found out that I do, in fact, I love like just seeing things in front of me. And I seem to remember things more, like when I'm studying, visualizing the charts and stuff and drawing pictures to know where things go and things like that. Um, also, I understand more once I or once someone shows me how to do something, instead of just listening, I tend to remember exactly what I'm doing when after someone shows me. And what are your strengths, your challenges relating to the process of teaching and learning? I have to say my strengths are following through with commitments. I never bail out on somebody and I'm always seeking feedback. Like if I have a test, I go to the professor and see what I've done wrong and how I can or improve. And I can maintain confidentially with all interactions. When someone tells me something in private, I don't go around blabbing my mouth. And a challenge I face is um, Coping with stress, I can do it too at some point, but there's a point where I usually reach a breakdown. And critiquing my own performance accurately, I have a problem with that. I feel like I don't want to grade myself, you know, too positive, so I'm not thinking that I'm doing a perfect job, but yet again, I, I want to grade myself hard, so I work harder. And critically analyzing literature. Um scientific literature I just fully can't wrap my head around it yet 
I feel like later in my professional I'll understand it more, but it's just like hard for me to read and I also think it's very boring. Um, I think my learning styles will impact my ability to learn or to teach and to learn because um multi or coping with stress is a big thing like obviously working is very stressful and I feel like I can't when I'm stressed about work or something I can't just go and have a mental breakdown in the bathroom or something so I'll need to work on that and critically analyzing literature um that'll um, impact my teaching and learning because I need to understand what I'm going to be teaching students and teaching patients and well when I go into the professional phase I feel like that will be easier and critiquing my own performance I feel like um, that'll impact my um, teaching and learning because if I don't know where I stand in the class or with patience, then it'll be very hard to move forward. And what are your strengths and challenges related to my prof development of my professional behaviors? So my one of my challenges would definitely be punctuality. I always tend to show up late, so I feel like I'll, that's a huge challenge for me. Um, and this will impact my ability to teach because it won't, people won't take me very seriously if I'm showing up late. It'll be very difficult to learn information too because if I'm showing up late for a class or showing up late for a meeting, then I won't be getting the full picture, full understanding of the information given. And some strengths I have are that um, I'm a good communicator, so I know how to talk to people, I can listen well, um, also I can relate to people well, I'm good at explaining things, and I feel like that will benefit, benefit me um, with teaching and um, my ability to learn. And my personal goals, so my personal goal would first be punctuality, I feel like is a big important one, so my goal is to not show up late and show up at least five minutes early so then um, later on in my future career that people will actually take me seriously and respect me. And I'd love to um, broaden my learning styles too. Instead of just becoming a visual learner, I'd like to be, like increase my learning styles with like listening skills. I'd... Um, and understanding after a professor or someone explains something, not to just keep going back and trying to understand things like that. And I'd also love to um, work on my critically analyzing literature skills because I feel like that's a big part in the upper division. I feel like that'll beneficial benefit me a lot if I start doing this now. And coping with stress, I feel like I've just set some goals for myself so I don't have a mental breakdown when I like have too many tests or something. I feel like I need to um, figure out a certain way to manage that better. But that's it. Thank you.